guys, so it's Kyosha and welcome back to another video. If you like my Savvy Saturday videos, please give this a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And without further ado, let's just get into today's video. Okay, you guys, so you can tell from the title of today's video, this is the last video in my budgeting series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Today, we are going to create our budget, our first budget, second budget, third budget, re-budget, whatever budget this is for you. Don't be... Um, discouraged if it doesn't work out you can take these steps over and over and over again to create a budget so today I have our monthly budget sheet and I have a mock income I've written down here and we'll go through it as I talk about it so I wrote down you know I try to be prepared today so I got an income and somebody has some bills okay so so today I am using a single person with one job minimal debt um, as my person today, let's call her, I don't know, Jesse. Jesse, this is Jesse's income. So this is what he has going on with his life. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and just get in straight away to this video because we do have a lot to cover. So let's just start with Jesse's monthly income, okay? So on this budget, monthly budget, you guys can see, and of course it's gonna be on the side, um, you're just gonna write in the date, which of uh, well, the month, and this is March. Okay, and in the income section, you're going to write in your main income and you're going to write any in extra income. So extra income will be side hustle, income tax, money somebody gave you, if you sold items, whatever the case may be, that will be extra income. Main income will be whatever comes to your choice of whatever kind of job you have. So Jesse, for instance, makes $2,500 a month and he has no extra income as of yet he might need some we don't know we're gonna break it down for you okay so we're just gonna zoom in a little bit and we're gonna start writing in our um monthly expenses okay so um jesse has due on the first his rent which is eight hundred dollars he has his light bill which is ninety dollars his water bill, which is $40. He has internet, which is $60. Then he has Netflix, $15.99. Then he has Apple, which is $10.99. Then he has his car. And I didn't write these in any order, so excuse me. You want to write them in large to small as whatever you can go ahead and do that i didn't do that so we have car insurance 200 we have renter's insurance because he does rent so you definitely need renter's insurance you don't want your stuff burned down and you ain't got no other thing going on of course he has a cell phone uh, which is $60. We're going to get him on a little prepaid. And then he has credit card number one with a minimum payment of $25. Credit card number two with a minimum payment of $25. And then he has what I would consider cash envelopes, but these are his household items. So he has groceries, which is $150 a month. Household, so toilet tissue, whatever he may need, $30. Entertainment, which is $100, and then he's going to do dining out, which is also $100. So those are Jesse's monthly expenses, and let's just go out and put in random dates, you guys. I don't know. So the rent's always due on the 1st, car note due on the 15th, car insurance due on the Last day of the month would so say 31st. Renters insurance would say due on the 10th. Cell phones due on the 8th. Credit card one is due on, I don't know, the 25th. Two is due on the 20th. Groceries on the 1st, 1st, 1st for cash envelopes. Let's just say he'll do that. Light bill is due on the 14th. Water bill due on the, what? 18th <laughs> internet is due on the 23rd Ooh, that's a ugly 23rd y'all with netflix do i have had netflix so let's say apple music and netflix are both due on the um 
11. Okay, so you see how that goes. We have everything due one every day. So first we're gonna do our, down here at the ending balance, we have $2,500. And we're gonna subtract all of these items from it. The total expenses is $2,116.98. And I just wrote these down, so this is very good. Jesse is living under his means um, at this point. So we're gonna subtract 2,500 from that. And that leaves us with $383.02 in the plus. We're not in the negative. He's not in the negative, so that's good. If you come out in the negative, this is where you would do that discretionary, um, where you reduce or eliminate all discretionary items until you get back in the positive. Um, if you find that you've done all of that and you're down to the bare bone minimums that you need and you're still in the negative, you have two options. You need to either move, maybe your rent or your car, car note is too high or something like that, or you need to find a second job or find a new main job that will pay for the minimum expenses that you need. All right, so that is his monthly budget. For Mark, so he has $383.02 left. That is really good, Jesse. Good job, Jesse. All right, so now we are going to move over to his paycheck planner. So this is what the paycheck planner looks like. So let's just say this is March check number one. Okay, so he makes $2,500 a month. So we're just gonna divide that by two, be real simple with it. That means he makes $1,200. $50 a month. And let's just say he got exactly that and there's no difference. So his total income is $1,250. Okay. Expenses subtotal. Okay. This is, we got to put our expenses in. So let's just say he gets paid on March D. Let's say he gets paid on the 15th and the 30th each month. That's super simple, right? So this is his first paycheck is the 15th of the month. All right, and we are gonna base this on that he's already paid everything that he needed to pay before March 15th. That means last month in February, he used the last paycheck in February to pay for everything up to the 15th of the March. So it's the 15th of the month, so he has to, the next time he will get paid will be on the 30th. So anything that is due after the 15th, but before the 30th will come out of this paycheck. So let's look and see. And let's just say this, let's say you divide each of your household items by two. So every time you get paid, you fill it. So you'll fill your groceries, half will be 75. Your gas half would be 80. Your household would be 15. Dining out would be 50. And entertainment would be 50. That way it just makes it a little bit easier. That'd be $398 in your expenses, okay? And as you can see, if you had more expenses, you would go here. So you would subtract $398 from that total there. So you got 398, 1250 minus 398. That would give you $852 left over from paycheck one to go towards paycheck two. And so you saw at the end of the month, we should have $383 left, okay, based off what he has. So at this point, you would want to make sure that you go to your next paycheck. So we're going to duplicate it and we're going to make this the March 2nd paycheck on the 30th. And what we're going to do is we're going to erase all of this. I love my iPad. Okay, so it's the same amount. The expenses are different. Okay, and then so what we would do is we actually would delete this 258-1250 plus the 852 that's left over gives us 2102. So every time you get paid, if you know you need part of the first paycheck to help pay 
things out of the second paycheck, don't just go spending that money, okay? You need to leave it in there and allocate it towards whatever else needs to be paid in the next paycheck, okay? So in this case, your income total will be 2,102. So don't go crazy thinking you just have $800 to spend because you still gotta pay your rent, your light, um, your car note, whatever it is, your car insurance. You don't have time to be paying this stuff, playing around, okay? So don't do it. So this paycheck, we're gonna pay our rent for April, which is $800. We gotta pay our light bill, which is 90. We've already paid our water, paid our internet, right? Did I forget you? Yeah, get the internet. We got our, nope, we gotta do our subscription. So net, dang it, I hate it when it does that. Our Netflix. Sorry if I'm out of frame. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see on the side of me. $15.99. Your Apple. $10.99. And these two items will be the first thing to go if you in the negative. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Car note, we paid, right? Um, renter's insurance. People need to pay should be $60. And then we will have our cell phone bill, which would be $60. We've already paid our credit cards and we will have half of our groceries and stuff. And I'm just gonna copy, cause I don't feel like rewriting it, you guys. Copy. Okay. Groceries is 75. I just didn't feel like rewriting all of that stuff. Okay, so this is paycheck number 130698. So 130698 minus 2102 equals. I'll get seven hundred dollars. I got seven hundred ninety-five dollars. <laughs> Ask me, did I add it up right? Did we add it up right? I forgot the car insurance, which is two hundred dollars. See, don't forget the car insurance, you guys. Don't forget to pay bills. That's why you have to write this stuff down. Was 1506.98 minus 2.32 equals 595. Somehow we're still a little bit off, but that's okay. You get the point, right? I never did say I was the best account member, right? But it is very important that you do balance at the end of the month. That's why I like to leave, use a spreadsheet because spreadsheets calculate everything for you. You can't really leave anything out once you set it up. This is where you would decide whether or not you want to go ahead and use this money to pay off debt, put money in your savings, start sinking funds, start your emergency fund. So this is how you would plan out your paychecks in order to cover all of your bills in the month and also make sure you're paying bills before they're due or right on time when they're due when you are budgeting, okay? Okay, you guys, so that's how you would set your monthly budget, how you will also set your two paychecks um, if you get paid twice a month, you would do this once if you only get paid once a month and then you would do it weekly if you get paid every single week. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is this monthly calendar and this sort of works sort of like a monthly income, but this is going to give you an overview of what, when things are actually due, if that makes sense. So for instance, March 1st was on a Sunday, so we got one, two, three, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And as you can see, it has more blocks and you can just draw a line, whatever. So this way you can do like rent, you can do light, you can do water, and then you can go like pay, pay, so you know what day you get paid. So anything before this date, anything um, the 14th to the 1st would be paid out of the last February 30th. Anything from the 15th to the 30th will pay anything in here. And then the 30th before will pay anything after, if that makes sense to you guys. I hope it does. Let me know in the comments below if it didn't. 
and I'll explain it to you. Um, so your two subscriptions, so net and app. And then as far as your groceries and stuff, you can say half of your cash envelopes are due here and then the other half of your cash envelopes are due there. And that way you could have that work out. So that's sort of how you would do that. So then you would have your monthly set up, you would plan it paycheck to paycheck, and then you would go ahead and do your monthly budget as well. So that is how I suggest that you do it. Just break it down. Whenever you have a plan, it's always the best thing to have a plan because if you don't have a plan, sorry, I'm just making sure my notes are here. Um, if you don't have a plan, you get kind of confused of when things are due, when things need to be done and when they don't get done. And then you also won't have a idea of how much money you would have left every single month to do what you need to do or you would not know that you would be in the negative and therefore you would not have enough money to do the things you need or want to do okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this today's video and i hope you guys are all starting your budget if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below i really hope you enjoyed this series if you like this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video